All right, so I feel like this year I have a lot of exciting things going on. And one of the first exciting things that are gonna happen is for the Laurel. So I got this car about, I think it's going on to like three years already. And it's been, a, it's been like a really long journey with it. Um, a lot of ups and downs and mainly a lot of downs but I don't want to like disclose too much of what I'm going to do to it. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to take this down to Cincinnati, drop it off. And then I'm going to surprise everyone with something I've kind of been gathering a lot of parts for it um, and working on over the past month, month and a half. So for those of you who don't know what a Laurel is, it's uh, it's pretty much I like to tell people it's like the combination between a 240SX and a Skyline. So it, this is a C33 generation. It's The C33 was from 89 to 92 or 93. I believe it's 93 or 92. I actually, I'm not sure now, but um, the C33 has the S13 chassis and they come with an RV20. Now mine is different because this one in particular is a rare Club S package. Um, so the Club S came with an RB25 DE, not DET, RB25 DE, which is naturally aspirated and had like a, like a lip side skirts or, you know, had like a little OEM aero package on it. And this one has a sunroof. So, Sunroofs are actually really sought after because they're rare on C33s. Um, but it's now swapped with an RB25 DT. It came from Japan swapped. I didn't do the swap. I've always liked, you know, big body, four door, turbo, inline six, JDM sedans. And this was kind of like on the top of my list next to the JZX. So. I have been obsessed with them ever since I found out about them and this was like the perfect one for me. It's a, I think it's kind of like a rare color, I'm not sure, but it's a factory pearl white and I mean it's just, it's a gorgeous color um, and it's called Silky Snow Pearl. Technically it's not even white, it has a silver underbase and the pearl is what makes it white, which is kind of cool. Let's go on to the inside. This one is manual swapped. Again, came from Japan like that. I bought the car from AB Autos and Imports a couple years ago. They're spirit of the 90s now. Um, not too much of a crazy interior. It's pretty much all stock. Um, just changed out my shift knob, doubled in unit in. I do have my boost gauge right there. This used to be uh, like a OEM clock. It sucked, it didn't even work. I have my water temp gauge and um, my air to fuel ratio gauge there. But it's pretty clean. I'd say for the most part, And this is my ugly ass engine bay. Nothing special, just RV25, pretty much stock. Um, I've done just a lot of like maintenance stuff to it. Mishimoto radiator, um, Z32 MAF. There's, I believe R32 GTR coil packs, um, igniter, intake, downpipe. That's about it, I mean, it's stock turbo, stock boost, stock everything. So everything you see here, I've pretty much have done and changed. Uh, this is a final connection aero kit. Uh, these are Urus Exos, uh, 18 by nine plus 30 all the way around. I also have Z32 brakes, they're converted. Um, I had a local shop do the lettering in Cerakote, and they're also Cerakoted in that silver. These are just BPM um, spacers, 
five lug converted. Um, I have Fortunatos on it. Pretty much any adjustable upper control arm, lower control arm, toe arms, everything. These are rain guards. I had them wrapped in chrome to match the rest of the chrome on the car. D-Max roof wing, D-Max trunk lid, spoiler, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start taking the front bumper and everything off. It's pretty simple. I've simplified it over the years um, since I have to remove this front bumper off so many times. There's been a few times where I've just grenaded this front bumper and exploded it everywhere. Super depressing seeing it like this, but it's for for the best. All right, so the car is pretty much just ready. Um, I'm gonna go inside, shower, relax, and we're gonna pick this up back tomorrow morning once the trailer and Dawn's here to load this up. So that's the weather right now, five degrees. Um, hopefully it's quick and easy, not as bad, but we'll see. I haven't started this up in a while, so we'll see how it does. Not in gear. Oh, there we go. Hesitated a little bit. and then try to get it more like flush and see if we can load it up that way. We got it in. Um, we were having problems with clearing the undercooler, but honestly, I just had to fucking send it and get it straight in here. It's too cold, it was sliding. Um, but now we're just ratchet striping it, securing it, and then we're gonna head off. We're all loaded up and good to go. Fucking cold out. Three minutes away. <sighs> three minutes away, and this fucking train stopped. We're only three minutes away after four hours of driving. I mean, we have time, so Dawn's gonna go into the woods and pee. <laughs> He's not even going into the woods. He's just peeing on those bricks. Ah, oh, yes. Magical. Let's go. So we're just gonna find a good spot to pull in or unload, and then we're gonna go inside real quick. What's up? 
What, uh, what's the plan with the Z now? Uh, just get it tuned and drive it. Yeah. Here we on that. Just want to drive this car more. Damn, so, dude. Yeah, I got tired of the RV life, man. Things kept breaking, and I was like, dude, every time I turn around, it's like fifteen hundred dollars to fix something. Yeah. I was like, dude, I'm over it. Yeah. I was like, I can go buy a part for this at AutoZone for ten dollars and fix it if I need to. It turned around, it was always something stupid. It'd be like, a, oh, your slave cylinder went out. I'm like, oh, cool. Now I gotta go either buy one from overseas, wait for it, yeah, or go get a prelude one and modify it. Good to go. It's really cool seeing this car in person after seeing it on the internet for so long. Yeah. But I saw it with on the internet with the RB. I forgot you did an LS swap on this. Yeah. Yeah, I, dude, I love the RB. Dude, RBs, you can't beat the sound. Yeah. Like, so good but it's not worth it and this is coming from someone who has an rb <laughs> like it's not it really worth it. like and the thing was is like when i did the rb like when i started doing the rb it was like one of those things like not everybody was doing rbs yeah and it was like you didn't see an like you couldn't see an rb at any meet you went to unless it was in a skyline yeah and that was it well, like in the garage you also the got out of the rb game just in time before everything like shot up in price it was weird because like when i got out of it was right when everything was starting to go up yeah, in price yeah and i got to sell all my shit for so much <laughs> dude i i literally have no money out of pocket i'm putting this together that's crazy like buying the engine getting like all the stuff to do the inside doing ls9 head gaskets cam um like turbo like none of it came out of pocket the Terminator that's in it, like the ECU and stuff, uh, it has a TR6060 out of a 2012 Camaro SS. So it's a six speed. Um, Dude, that's so sick. Yeah, it, like I came out of pocket on none of it. So this is an LS swap funded by an RB swap previously. So Laura's dropped off. We're heading back home. Another four hour long drive, but that's okay because it's just kind of like a relief. Um, that shop, uh, one of the owners, his name's Jesse. Um, we just kind of been Facebook friends for a long time. He's a big Datsun guy. And I saw that he started a shop and the, I mean, just the people he teamed up with, I was really comfortable taking it to them. Made it to the shop, just waiting on uh, my wife to pick, come pick me up. But yes, yeah, my shop driver's gallery. For those of you that don't know, um, maybe I'll do kind of like a separate episode on the shop and everything, like a little walkthrough or tour or something. But that was a long journey and everything. So, like I said, I don't really want to reveal too much about what I'm doing with Laurel. Um, kind of just wanted it to be a complete surprise and then when a day comes to come pick it up, um, I'm just gonna do like a big review on it. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.